Good morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, what you are looking at is something that I find to be very beautiful um, and it's edible. This is red sorrel. We actually planted this last year and I had no idea that it was perennial. This actually survived all of those cold snaps. I mean those freezing cold snaps that we had um, over the winter. Uh, but I wanted to sh look at this beautiful plant. To me, it's also a very beautiful plant, but you can eat it. Um, it tastes great in salads. Now, it did die, but die back completely, but to our surprise, this is perennial. So we were cleaning out um, our potted areas and um, we're still not done. Lots of leaves to gather, lots of spring cleanup to do in the garden here, but um, these were just sticking out to me because, you know, we did have some other plants coming back as well, but I've always thought that these were very beautiful leaves on this red sorrel. And it also tastes great too. You could put it on your sandwiches, put it in your salads, or you can put it in a mixture of greens that you may be sauteing. Either way it goes, it's a win-win with this particular plant. And to find out that it's also perennial, very cold hardy, heat tolerant, that's what we've experienced with it. I'm, I'm just so happy that we decided to plant this last year. This was something that uh, we planted for the first time last year and much to our surprise. Look at it, it's in these pots and it looks great. So it, it could actually sit here and look pretty while being picked off of and eaten. That is very, very interesting and awesome at the same time. Look at that. Of course, you got this little leaf that's hanging and get that out of there, All right? Then you have another wild plant that's growing in there. And so outside of that, uh, she is very beautiful still. Look at that one. This one is very full, a lot more full than this one, but um, I am guessing he's going, this, this pot is going to catch up as well. Um, there are some other weeds down there to take out as well. But they, they pretty much hold their own. They they take over um, the whole pot. And for the most part, they hold their own. I am thoroughly pleased with this red sorrel. Look at that, y'all. I wanted to share that this morning. Um, I've been meaning to share it for the past few days. But um, wasn't... I was able to, but... It wasn't my priority. I'll just put it to you that way because I had so many other things that I was doing. And so you know how sometimes you grab yourself a moment. You say, let me go ahead and take care of this now. And this is what I'm doing now. I am taking care of it since I am thinking about it. And I haven't dived into everything that I'm going to be doing today. Uh, this is early morning. I was sitting at my desk there. I looked out and I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take care of this now working on a very, very important project family that I've been working on for quite some time now. And so um, that project has been dominating my time and my mind, <laughs> you know. Um, very important project in which we will be sharing um, soon. Soon, I'm not gonna give uh, any details right now <laughs> uh, because we are going as uh, the spirit leads on this project, so thought I would come out here and share my red sorrel. Uh, of course, again, there's other things we've been working on as well, too. <sighs> Haven't had a chance to do all of our spring cleanup, but we have done quite a bit. It's, it's still some to be done. Um, you know how it is coming out of the fall. Spring cleanup can be a trip. Uh, we still have leftover leaves and things. Um, like this area right here one of my favorite areas the blue area but the blue area is a mess and we haven't gotten here yet uh, we've been focusing more on the important things first um, we did uh, get a couple of baby uh, goats born the other day I uh, wanted to get some time on them as well uh, post some pictures or video on those beautiful little babies as well uh, but haven't had time to do that either so um, I'm, this is me grabbing a moment 
grabbing a moment. I love early spring. I just love it. Early spring is my favorite time of the year. I love fall as well, but early spring, I would say, is the best. And so I'm looking forward to getting out here doing some more spring cleanup. Uh, we've been preparing our beds and uh, preparing the land and uh, situating things. We've built some more raised beds in the rear of the farm and uh, just, you know, things of that nature, getting things situated the way they are supposed to in preparation for this magnificent growing season. I'm looking forward to the growing, growing season. Uh, so many things in the works. Look at that. Look at those beautiful birds. Just Those are pigeons, by the way. <laughs> I love to see them in the sky doing their thing. Love to see them in the sky. But yes. Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's a little nippy out here, but that's okay. Nothing that we can't deal with. This is definitely tolerable. Definitely tolerable. Uh, coming out of the winter months, uh, hey, I will take this. I will definitely take this. A little breezy here. I'm glad we're getting the sunshine today. Uh, we did have lots of rain, and uh, the night before last, uh, whew, that uh, that wind and that thunderstorm was, oh my goodness, it was frightening. I'll just tell you, uh, some of those booms sh literally shook me out of my bed, <laughs> you know. They were so loud and so frightening. I said, okay, that's the most high at work, handling his business, doing what he does and so we were certainly um glad to make it through the night i'll put it to you that way um i was having a difficult time going back to sleep so um, when i heard those booms and i couldn't go back to sleep i used that as an opportunity uh to plug in some more time um, on that very important project that i just spoke of moments ago um, i used that um, time wisely i didn't just um, lay there in the bed looking at the sky and um, calculating every thunderbolt and boom but I used that opportunity to uh, plug in some more time on the project that I just spoke of and so I think I am going to wrap up this video I have spoken long enough came out here to show the red sorrel but I spent a little more time doing this as well. All right. Until next time, we will talk to you soon.